And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Hello and welcome, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between and also outside of that. Welcome to, I can't believe I'm saying this, a brand new reaction video. I haven't done one of these in such a minute. But we're back. We're going to do another one. And this time, we're going to react to the first metal band that I actually got into when I was just but a wee star coma, you know? We're going to be reacting to one of Slipknot's brand new baby boy songs, and this song actually has song in the title, so that's pretty apropos, I suppose, I don't know. The Dying Song, Time to Sing. This kind of sounds like a dark Disney song, really. Time to sing! Let's have a good time, shall we? Anywho, a massive fan of Slipknot. However, I must admit, I haven't listened to uh, the album. We is it We Are Not Your Kind? Is that the album? I don't I don't even know if that's what it's called. That's how bad I've been recently. I kind of tuned out after All Hope Is Gone. I heard The Grey Chapter wasn't great, but I do love uh, Devilini. Or the devil and I, if you're nasty. And I've heard some snippets of songs from We Are Not Your Kind based solely on the fact that some of those songs appeared in WWE NXT at some point or another uh, before it turned to absolute garbage. We're going to be doing The Dying Song now. And is it Yen? That's another one. And then Chapel Town Rag, I think it's called. Something like that. Uh, we're going to do reaction videos to each Goddamn one of those. Starting today with the dying song. The dying. Yes. The dying to sing times. <laughs> let's get. Uh, ooh, let's. Is it, ooh. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? I think we should. Here we go, boys and girls. All right. Like a disco ball slipknot S. I'm into it. We'll see if we have to adjust to the volume as, uh, at all. Uh, there's, there's been a lot of creepy masks recently, boys and girls. If I'm being, if I'm being completely honest, I've seen a lot of creepy masks in music videos recently. The main one being uh, Won't Stand Down by Muse, which came out not too long ago. And then the subsequent videos that came out after that. There's a lot of creepy masks going about, you know? And then the Rammstein ones, is it, is it Zig Zack, where he starts having his face stapled together again? Uh, uh, there's something about creepy masks recently. Put your hands into the water, let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death now, let them sing till you die. die. Oh, die. all right. Die. And s speaking of masks, okay, I fucking love Corey Taylor's mask. It 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 might be my favorite all time. Corey Taylor mask. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> God damn, is it a good mask? I've seen it in a bunch of pictures recently. And oh. Where do you go from there? You know when they have the next evolution? Where do you go from there? I don't know. Anyway. Oh. All right, lads. <laughs> all right, boys, calm down. All right, <laughs> leave some riffs for the rest of us, would you? God damn, boys! Holy shit! Fair play. You're you're going all out on this one, aren't you? My God. And James is looking fantastic. All that hair. The massive beard. I'm into it. Amazing. What's this on Corey? What's this? Is that paint or is that part of the mask? Is he painted his neck? Either way, it looks fucking badass. 
Oh, he had a, he had a bit of a, a shoulder shimmy then. He was well into that. Go on, Mike, Mick. Mike, Mick. Go on, Mick. <laughs> Chug away, boy. Oh, that's a f that is a sweet arm tattoo that the uh, bassist has got. Go on, Jimmy Fee. Fucking shred it, lad. Oh, all right. <laughs> Quick shredding, I love it. they still doing it do you know what i mean they've been going for fucking ages lads and Corey's still got one of the best voices in the business and like it his screaming is so unique you know there's just no one like him and you, you can't really replicate replicate his style of vocals you know it's just so intense how he can still do it i've no fucking idea <laughs> <laughs> Has he lost his nose? Pinocchio. Chris. Chris. F Fen? Fern? Christopher? Has he lost his nose? Looks like it. Spikey. Oh, he looks so good! Oh, he looks mean, man. Fuck yes. Oh. Goodness gracious me. Oh, I'm back to the disco now. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Holy sh Jesus Christ. Is that it? It is it. I mean, <laughs> they've done it, haven't they? Jesus Christ. They they continue to be as good as they were when I was growing up, you know? When I was just a wee boy. That was fucking beautiful. Absolutely stunning. The riffs are incredible. His vocals are still on point as they always are. The drums are fantastic. I really like the mix. There was uh, some like bass solo-esque work in there as well. That sounded stunning. If it continues going this way, this album is going to be fan goddamn tasmic. You know, I want to learn it. I wonder what, what tuning is it in? Should we find out boys and girls? Is it only in drop B? Oh my God. Drop B is doable. And just going by the looks of the riffs here, I could probably learn this. God damn. Well, boys and girls, if you want to see whether or not I end up learning this song, you can find out by going to Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Starcoma. Over there, we do live performances of various covers, including quite a few Slipknot songs. And I also play my own music as well on those streams. We stream basically every single weekday from about 12 p.m. BST, sometimes 1 p.m. for about three or four hours. Every now and then, we'll chuck in an evening stream at about like 7 p.m. BST. Speaking 
speaking of my own music, you can get my music at starcomamusic.com. I've literally just released a new album called Elam. It looks something like this. You can get that for free at starcomamusic.com, along with all of the other music that's on there. Or if you've got things like Spotify, YouTube Music, Google Play, whatever, Amazon Music, uh, Tidal, whatever you've got that streams music, you can search Starcoma and you will, I'm sure, find my stuff. If you'd like to support me, what I do both on here and also over on Twitch, the best way to do so is to sign up to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Starcoma. For as little as $1 a month, you get a whole bunch of access, including the bonus track to my most recent album, Elam. That song is called The Catastrophe and the Cure. You also get things like your Twitch username made into a jingle, maybe something along the lines of this. Take a look, G. Uh, that's double takes one. We got crunch energy here as well. Or oh, we've got um, let's have a look here. Goat Rider. Goat Rider. You know those, those sorts of jingles here, that which you get every time you come into the chat, or if you do something shout out worthy, and a whole bunch of other things as well. Have a look at. There's a link down in the, in the description. I'm sure there was a link somewhere over here at some point. Maybe now. I don't know. Maybe I did it before. I said this, but it doesn't matter. A pleasure speaking to you all. You can look forward to other reaction videos coming goddamn right soon, including the two other Slipknot songs that I mentioned uh, not long ago, as well as basically the full album for We Are Not Your Kind, because I don't think I've properly listened to any of it. A Slipknot cover will be here, all right? Left Behind is probably here. So what? Uh, all right, great, bye-bye.